Okay, so welcome back. Uh, part three installment of tying the Casablanca or classic uh, Terry Stevens type streamer fly. Uh, and what we're going to do here is to put a throat on it. Uh, so you can pull lumps out of uh, slapping type feathers, I suppose, if you want, uh, and tie them on in bunches. Uh, or what I am going to do is to actually wrap one and then I'm going to smooth that down underneath it. So I'm going to take my one for wrapping, whatever. So if you chose to do it as a bunch, then you can rip fibers off either side match them up, I suppose a little bit like we did the tail on this fly in the previous video. Uh, so you could wrap your, or sorry, take your bunch, set it underneath, grab it and tie it in. You'd get a nice throat that way. Other option would be if you had a, a an even slapping feather. Uh, on even on the two sides uh, is that if you took the feather and snapped out the tip you could fold this back turn your fly over tie in across the stalk and then pull the stalk of the feather forward until you just get to the end of the stock portion again and that would also make a an easy throat for you and then what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to wrap uh, the feather so the only issue with my one is that the other two you can control the, the length of it by pulling the fibers backwards or forwards uh, on this one here I'm going to have to choose a feather with uh, fibre length to, to suit myself so I'm actually going to double the uh, hackle uh, and I'm bending it between finger and thumb and then I'm stroking all the fibres to one side. Now I actually have a video uh, explaining doubling hackles and I'll see if we can get a link up to that in this video. So once I've got it doubled, I'll nip out the tip of it and I'll tie it on. Underneath, fold it back. And then I'm going to wrap that. I'm just rotating the hackle stock as I wrap it on here so that it lays as flat as I possibly can. And I'm sort of squeezing it as it goes on as well. And once I'm happy with it there, I'm going to tie it off. Forward a little bit. So once we have it uh, tied on, we'll sort of have to preen it a little bit. Um, so that'll involve a bit of brushing. Separate out the fibers, and then we have to choose whether we're going to leave 
these bits on top. Now this could be useful enough in that it will support the wing. Uh, so I'm actually going to leave them on there. Uh, and the wing itself should be big enough that the red part shouldn't show. And uh, if you're worried at all that the, because the, the first wing on, these, on this pattern is white obviously. So uh, what we could do is to even put a little bit of white slap on uh, fibers just over the top of that so it definitely won't come up but I think it'll be fine as it is. Uh, if you're worried about it what you can do is then just to uh, actually pluck off these top ones here. So. Take one of these little mascara brush things here and just run through the fibres. I'll just separate them out at the uh, base of the tie-in here and allow them to display as they would and then whenever I preen them back again then they should be far neater. going to do is take a sort of a half catching loop over the top part there just to keep it down and that is our throat on our classic streamer fly pattern so uh, as usual uh, check out the other parts of the video check out my other videos that I have uh, subscribe like Leave some comments and tell your friends and uh, until next time, tight lines and thanks for watching.